Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Paper Mario! My name is Sick and I'll be your guide. So welcome back everybody, and today we're going to be doing some preparations for Chapter 6. And don't think that we're not going to get to Chapter 6 today, we're gonna, but I just wanted to do some quick things first. So over here we have a star piece, which we can't get for some reason, reason even though the fence is obviously short enough to let us pass. It's not exactly a Gandalf fence. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. But if we come down here, we get a super block. Because <laughs> uh, that's the perfect segue. Let's see here. We should upgrade Bo, because she is awesome and she is the best party member ever. I don't care what anyone else says. Bo's awesome. I should have upgraded great. I should have upgraded her earlier. And Bo is awesome, and you're at ultra rank. Good day, sir. Good day, madam. Good day, every single one of you. So, I'm gonna cut away real quick, and I'm gonna be doing some other preparatory work. No, that's not gonna work. Work other than that work. See you guys there. Alright everybody, now that we're in Toad Town Tunnels, there's a few things in here that I wanted to take care of. Some of it we could have taken care of before, but it really wouldn't make much sense and I'll show you why. So if we come over here, we have this little hallway that we're probably never going to see again, so savor it while you can, except that it's gone. Except that you can rewind the video, but... Uh, I don't like being proven wrong. Over here we have a buzzy, buzzy beetle, and we have a super block. So this, probably the first half of this episode's gotta be us upgrading most of our party members. I think I'm gonna upgrade Watt, because Watt is very useful. Piercing the fence, that is going to be a very big ally to us, especially in chapters 7 and 8, not so much in 6. But we're looking towards the future, so that really doesn't matter to us much right now. Words, they're so difficult. Especially when recording. Huh. Oh wait, we are in the hallway again. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, that other thing I wanted to do is just down this little hole over here pass through this area, and uh, let's just go through this room that I really, really, really have bad memories with. So if you may remember, there's this little room over here that we never really did much with, with a super block nonetheless. If we use what? We have coins! Yes, we have secret blocks here that Watt can reveal. We didn't really need Watt for this, but uh, it made the most sense to come here at this point because the super blocks that are kind of... How do I put this? The super blocks are put in a way that they upgrade your party members to super rank as they go along. But when you get the Ultra Stone, a lot more super, super blocks become available to you, if that makes any sense. So, even if we did use this super block before, it wouldn't really be that helpful, because we would have to backtrack to the areas where the super blocks were already in our path. Does that make any sense? No? Alright, Paracarry, you're getting an ultra rank. Because why not? Wabafet. Hey, Rolf! Do you have anything awesome for us? Uh, no? Okay, I'll be back later, I guess. See ya. Alright everybody, since we're gonna be doing another chapter today, I feel like that we should op empty the chest again. Let's get the Power Rush Badge, and the Last Stand Badge. Thank you, Peach! We're going to be saving you at some point, I'm not exactly sure when, it's probably not going to be for another 20, 30 episodes? I don't know, don't quote me on that, because I have no idea how long this is going to take. 
And I think I need to get more badges, because let's see how I'm doing. Yep, 23 star pieces. So, what would be the most helpful? Uh, no. Twice as many coins. That could actually be really useful. I mean, we need the money, so... Awesome! Money, money. Like the sound of that badge. And I think I'm also gonna get... Uh, chill out actually that could be really helpful for this next chapter because it does have a lot of fast enemies so why the hell not give me that chill out not as overpowered as the chill out I already have but it's still pretty helpful and for only three star pieces I'd say that's a pretty good deal so, if there's nothing else that we can do, I think we should just head over to Chapter 6 now. See you guys there. Alright, Rolf. Do you have the badge I want now? No. Thanks anyway, Rolf. Because I believe you can get another damage dodge ba badge from Rolf. But apparently he doesn't want to put it up, so whatever. Hey, Mr. Bubbulb. Flower Fields is in a state of despair because Bowser's minions. Please, save us! I'm gonna break your kneecaps. Well, we do have three of the flowers already in place. And we do have a fourth seed, so... Let's see what happens. The bulbs came from a flower-filled land called Flower Fields. They say the flowers in Flower Fields are in trouble. To get to flower fields, you need four kinds of seeds that only Bubulbs possess. But where are the Bubulbs? Please, Mario, you must look for the Bubulbs! Oh, you already did it? Well, uh, okay. I guess you could still talk to Merlin anyway? He's kind of lonely. He's a lonely guy. He does appreciate the company. There you go. Wow, you brought me the seed! Ew, thank you so much! Yeah. I can finally stop talking about seeds now! Kia! Heart, heart, heart. At first it just looked like the flowers were blooming, but suddenly a door appeared! It must be... You must be able to go to flower fields from here! Mario, Flower Fields needs your aid. Please help! And aid them we will. So now that we have all the flowers, we can go to Flower Fields! I just wanted to show you my badges real quick. Now, I unequipped the Zap Tap badge because it's really not going to be helpful in this next chapter. There's going to be enemies that are immune to electricity, enemies that attack mainly through projectiles, and I think it's only going to be very worth it for only one enemy in this area, which really, it's not worth it to wear the Zap Tap badge right now. So I equipped Chill Out and Money Money. That's such a fun word to say. Money Money. <laughs> money 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 Money. Money 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 Money. I'll stop. Chapter 6! Dark Days in Flower Fields. And that boss looks really bloated. But who? Now who might that be? Well, who said that? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Up here, son! They call me Wise Wisterwood. Try saying that ten times fast. I am the oldest tree here in flower fields. The land of trees, flowers, grass, and plants. And you must be Mario! I've heard a lot about you, son. Even though I'm a tree, word gets to me somehow. You're trying your best to save the star spirits and the rest of your world, are you not? Very noble. If that is true, then your rival means a star spirit is here in our land. So wait, you don't even know? You know all this stuff, but you don't know if there's a star spirit? I would help you in your quest. But alas, I cannot right now. I'm a tree. 
A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course, it must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Ho ho! You're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, I didn't say anything, but uh, I guess, sure, if he's in our way. <laughs> well, that would make the wishes of Flower Fields come true. But it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky, so he's way up in Cloudy Climb. There's no way up there now. Cool, so he's in the sky. We kind of have a problem with getting to the sky right now with, you know, Bowser's Castle. So I think this might take a while. <laughs> well, you might be able to reach it if you find a magical bean or something that grows high. I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm just a tree. Now, oh, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean. Somewhere, I believe. Her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east. It, would, it wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bulbs around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everybody, be social, get out there, have some fun, save your game. My mouth is a door. So yes, everybody, welcome to Flower Fields. We got a green bulb here. I'm sick of the weather. Flower Fields is always cloudy. It never used to be like this. Oh, that huff and pus. Huff and pus? Ew. So much ew. But I think, yeah, we have six areas that we can go, but we can only really progress through one of them, which I think is over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's over here. So we have our first enemy. That's a crazy daisy. Just want to avoid it for now. And oh god. That is a bazap! If you remember, we fought one in Chapter 3 a long time ago. And it really doesn't like us. These guys are incredibly fierce attackers. And, uh, I don't even know if I can hit these trees without... Yeah, yeah, go away. Okay. So what we're trying to do is hit these trees in a certain order. Is he gone? Is he- Nope! 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 Yep, that's a crazy daisy. And, uh, this is running away. He bravely ran, he bravely ran away. He bravely ran, he bravely ran. I forget how the song goes. Yeah, flowers are scary, man. Especially bees. Especially bees that are, like, three feet tall. But if you hit those trees in that very exact order, you get the happy flower badge, which I'm pretty sure we already have one at this point, but... It doesn't hurt to show off stuff, except when it does, when we're being attacked by giant bees. Seriously though, bees are one of the most frightening things I've ever seen in my life. Hello there, flower. How you doing? Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ah, oh, sorry, I burped. Go on with your tale, madam. Ever since that sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all, which is why I'm flailing and angry. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now these Monty Moles dig into the roots and bite me. Oh, woe is me. My beautiful seed collection will become a Monty Mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Could you get rid of these Monty Moles for me? In case you're wondering, Monty Moles, I'm talking about our, uh... This guy, and this jerk, and this troublemaker, and this wicked creature flapping his arms like he just doesn't care. And this guy, well, uh, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one, but you can kill it nonetheless. I don't care. But please don't fail me. My seeds and I are counting on you to save us. Uh, enough of the seeds already. <laughs> uh, I know I'm like, I'm 19. I should be above all this, but oh. Okay. 
So yes, over here we have Monty Moles. They're just like the moles that we fought back on Mount Rugged, but these guys are pretty much twice as powerful. And I don't want the XP, so I think I'm just gonna spook them away. Let's see if I can get this right. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Yes! Awesome! Bo, you're the best. Thank you so much. I don't know why I'm thinking a video game. And, oh, really? No money for that? Oh, cool, first strike. Uh, this is only one Monty Mole, so I think I'm gonna show off Bo's new ability. This is Fan Smack. This is Bo's ultimate move, and it's really cool. Watch this. Ready? It's just like her normal smack, except... On steroids! Yeah, that mole's gone. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant death. Wow, really? With the money money badge, we only got two coins with that. What a cheapskate. Can I hit this guy? Can I hit this guy? Can I please hit this guy? No, don't, don't! What are you doing? Okay, that makes sense. No, don't run away. Bo, I want you to scare him off. Can I do it again? Come on! Twice is the charm! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap, only one of them. All right, um... Can I... Hmm. Nah, stone cat. I'm just gonna do nothing and wait for Bo to come back. Nice! All right! I'm a blocking master! Except I'm really not. Right, just spook him one more time. I'm gonna- I'm actually holding the controller like upside down and on its side and I'm using my whole arm to hit the control stick. It's really, really sloppy, but... Ugh. Okay. Be like that, Monty Moles. Starstorm, you deserve it! You're going to hell! Starstorm, take him out, Skolar! You very fancy, posh, Englishman star thing. And I... nope. Okay, at least I blocked that one. Now, Bo, can you please, 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 please get this one right? Okay, let me see. Ready? Oh, come on. Oh. Okay, we got one more. Awesome. I think I can kill this one off without much negative repercussion. Awesome. Four star points. And a level up! BP. I think I'm gonna max out my BP for, before I go to FP, because we have plenty of FP right now. And, uh, BP? You can never have enough BP. Are you- are you- Hello, can I hit you? Can I please hit you? Okay, I guess- I guess I could just gingerly walk into you, that works too. Okay, can I please spook all these guys? Can I please just spook every- Last one of them. Ah, this hurts. Awesome! That was cool. Oh my god. How you doing, Petunia? You feeling any better? Oh yippee! Hooray! Hurrah! Yahoo! We got rid of the Monty Moles. Oh thank you, thank you. To so to show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean. Here you are. So now we have the magical bean, and we go. We can go fight Huff and Puff. I have a feeling this is gonna be a really, really short chapter now. I mean, we already have the magical bean. I mean, that's all we need to get to Huff and Puff, right? 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 Hmm. Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Seed Maniac. Hee <laughs> hee. Nice to meet you. By the way, about the magical bean I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. No? Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom. After it's planted, it it sprouts up, and it won't ever be able to move again, like me. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. 
No! Alright, cool. And before you leave, you're gonna want to hit this tree and get... Red berries! I think I'm gonna take two because, eh, why the hell not? This is the only place you can get red berries. And if I can just dodge all these little guys over here... And the very scary bees... Which kind of reminds me of, uh... You ever think... You, you, you ever hear people saying, Oh man, wouldn't it be cool if Pokemon existed? No? Are you kidding me? If Pokemon existed, then bee drills would exist. Bee drills are like three feet tall, like three foot tall bees. That is the scariest thing you could ever imagine. Oh well, I've gone way off topic now. I think this is a good place to stop. So I'll see you guys next time. My name is Sick, and next time we're going to be doing more in Flower Fields and hopefully going to see a Huff and Puff. See you guys then. You know, girls, something's been bothering me. Why was I born so beautiful? Oh, beauty is a sin. Nice ego, Chris T. Really? Way to be in love with yourself. Sometimes you make absolutely no sense at all. You know, people like me, because I'm always cheerful. Who cares about looks? <clears throat> God.